Hi guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to the Twin Flame family and welcome to those of you who are new and just jo joining us. I received a couple emails saying, Kimberly, we missed your weekly energy reading for the collect collective Twin Flames this week. So I'm here to give you that update. Um, earlier in the week, I was guided to kind of give more of a manifestation message, which I'll be doing weekly as well. Um, and so I wanted to give you the update for the present collective energy um, for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And I will also post another update prior to the full moon next week, on, which is in Cancer on January 12th, I believe. So I wanted to talk about, let's see, where the Divine Feminine is at first, because I've pulled cards for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the Shared Energies. So I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles for the feminine. And this is a really good card. This is about the feminine drawing closer into her femininity, into her, uh, you know, nurturing nature. And it's funny because the bottom of the deck of the um, past life, which I also call early life stuff, is the mother card. Okay, so I feel like these are going in tandem here. This is the divine feminine connecting in with her more nurturing side. It's also about nurturing our new creative ideas okay that pentacle she's looking down at that new that new coin that new um idea that it's all about creation and how do we nurture these ideas that we have for our mission and how do we you know start to really use our talents in a new and focused way and i feel like because the divine feminine has gone inward like we, december was a very like inward focused month like a lot of introspection a lot of looking at ourselves and also about, you know, kind of looking at what's worked or what hasn't worked over the past year as we start to think about, you know, setting new intentions for this year, especially as we came up on the new moon, I think on December 29th, it was like we were setting those intentions. So I feel like she is introspecting still, but now it's starting to be like um, putting that energy into nurturing this new venture or new creation. It's that creative energy, it's nurturing and it's, it's softer, but she's like more, she's in her power more. Okay. And I feel that for, for all of the divine feminine and it's not like a race, you know, it's not a race to get to the finish line, to get this thing done <laughs> or to, or to get it out there. This is about like something not just, you know, maybe starting the seed of something that you're nurturing and you're growing. And as you nurture that, it's making you feel better and making you feel more connected to your feminine side. And that's making you more in your power center. And she is feet on the ground centered and, you know, that the outward focus is no longer, it, there is no more outward focus. The focus is on the mission and from within on the, on the feminine within um, cultivating the feminine within, reclaiming the feminine from within. And, you know, much of the past year, especially the last part of 2016, was spent on looking at this twin flame dynamic. What's happening? What's not happening? Where's the lack? You know, kind of focusing in all the wrong places. And I think the divine feminine has now shifted, which is amazing. And I'm really proud of you guys who are making the shift. Um, so that you're realigning with your own power and really starting to think about how to put this, this, you know, your best fit foot forward in 2017 to nurture your mission further. Um, so, okay. So it's interesting though, because on the masculine side, I have the six of wands and he's moving, but I guess I have to show it in opposition because they're actually facing away from each other. I know it's opposite on the screen. They're facing away from each other. But this is generally a positive card. And, you know, the thing is, is that he's moving. He's moving. He wants to move forward. Okay. I don't think that it's literally that he's moving away from the feminine right now. I just think like he's ready to kind of like make new strides also. And that intention is bringing up the shared energy, which is the full energy, but it's the zero card, which means this is all about new beginnings. It's about leaving the old behind and starting a new beginning. Okay. This could be a new journey with a new idea. This could be, you know, the, the two twins really starting anew. Um, 
it's it for me the message that's coming through what the guides are saying is it's also about really forgetting all of the stuff from the past and I think as the feminine tends to reach back a lot and pull it in to what's happening in the present and I think also that <laughs> look at Stella <laughs> She always chimes in. Um, I think also the masculine is moving forward as well, and he's not getting stuck on the past. I think what the masculine has, we've seen him become stagnant because there's a lot of fear around stuff that's happened in the past. And with the feminine, it's like, it's the same thing, but it doesn't make her stagnant. It's made her weary. It's made her afraid um, and it, now it's like this full card, this new beginning energy is saying not just that it's a new beginning, like nur nurturing a new venture, nurturing the mission, and the twin flames starting anew. It's the twin flames starting in a new way. This time, even if you're still in separation, there is like a new beginning here for many of you. I'm, I'm hearing it in the comments as well because you're letting the past go. So that means when we let the past go, we can live in the present. We can live in the now. We can let go of resentments. We can release ourselves from the fears that have been holding us back. And I generally think this is very positive right here. Okay. Um, for those of you who are still in separation, I don't feel union energy this week, but I think when we get into the 111 gateway, Coming up, it's 1-11-2017 is also a 10, which simplifies to 1. So it's really 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. And I feel like next week will be a big week, and some of this movement is happening right now so that we can start from a different place in a different way not blaming the other and not moving from fear. This is the key part of this reading, I feel, is that neither neither the Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine are moving from fear. And this is the first time that I've seen this in a long time. In, in the past, the readings have very much been um, for both energies, like, you know, being tied or stuck or totally just... Um, I feel inertia in this. I feel momentum, okay? Even though she's seated and he's moving in the opposite direction, it's not, I don't feel that literally. I feel as though this is really saying there is movement here and the movement is about moving forward in a new way. It's about not outward focus on what isn't there. It's about inward focus and focusing on all the right things, the mission, the staying focused and then moving forward past our fears, which will, which will give way to the platform for union or even more harmonious unions. Even those of you who are in union, but you know, some of you say it's like an uphill battle. And I know there's lots of ups and downs. This is the time now as we go into next week where things are going to reach a more level place where we're no longer throwing the past up in someone's face. We're able to let that go. We're able to release the fears that are holding us back. And some of this is around trust also. I'm getting there's deeper trust here, trusting ourselves and like trusting the our twin flame. And I just chose another... Um, Doreen Virtue Ascended Masters card while, I'm, while I was talking, it says you can do it. And it's just saying like that the, the gates are opening for this, um, for this moving forward momentum. Uh, crowning card for this was also Flow of Prosperity, which is another Ascension card, it's Lakshmi. And it's really, again, this is about mission. This is about moving forward. And as we clear out the negative, which I've been talking a lot about, the focus on the lack, the, the focus on fears, the worrying, the holding ourselves back, we will see how 
the flow of prosperity is going to follow as well. It's going to follow centered around our mission. The flow of prosperity card came up, I think, this week three times in private sessions. Three private sessions that I had this past week, that card came up. And I haven't seen that card really since I've been reading through YouTube. Um, so it's, it's really positive. This is really positive around the new year. And Apollo is coming through and saying, focus upon your strengths. This is also about do not focus on the negative, the lack, the what's gone wrong, the what the twin, you know, the keeping score, what the twin flame, what your twin flame did or didn't do. It's really about, can we clean the slate here and move forward, you know, with this, childlike energy with this. I'm just in love and there is no past. I'm enchanted by the now and I'm, uh, you know, excited about the future. That energy, that vibration that we hold of excitement, of childlike energy, that's what's going to attract that positive flow into our lives. And it's going to help the twin flames come together in a new way. Um, I very much feel this underneath all of this, underneath the situation, I always pull as, as most of you know, I pull the Brian Weiss during virtue past life card, which is also like early life, or it kind of tells us what's under the situation or, and I told you the mother card kind of came up in alignment to the queen of pentacles and, but underneath everything, I, the galactic galactic came up. And for me, this is always a message of this is like written in the stars. This is cosmic, cosmic energy is affecting us. Don't forget we're still in Mercury retrograde right now. And we're coming out of it on Sunday, the 8th. And we'll still be feeling the effects a little bit next week. But by the time we segue into full moon energy on the 12th, we will be out of Mercury retrograde and things will start flowing a lot more. So that forward moving momentum is going to really pick up. Okay. And the cosmos are affecting us right now. So if you feel like, okay, I'm focused on what I should be doing. Why is it stuff totally happening yet? It's because next week it's just going to open. As soon as Mercury goes back direct and we get into this full moon energy, there's going to be a lot of manifestation energy, um, unions, um, new opportunities. Like I said, flow of prosperity could be job opportunities, could be opportunities for your mission. Things are going to pick up. Don't forget. This is like we're post holiday right now. Things are still a little bit quiet. Mercury is still in retrograde. It's affecting communications, technology. Um, there are delays. There's miscommunication. There's non-communication. There's um, a lot of, you know, looking at the past. But I feel like we're now we're coming out of that. And the energy for the feminine and masculine is one of moving forward with the focus in the right place. So as soon as Mercury goes direct and then we move into that full moon manifestation energy next week, we are going to be set up cosmically, galactically for really a great place of manifesting opportunities, prosperity, and union. Um, so remember, remember that and try to keep your inner vibration aligned with the excitement of this flow. It may feel like things, even though you're, you've, cleared the slate, you've cleaned the slate, you've cleaned the past, the focused on the past or the outward focus and you're focused correctly. It may still feel like things aren't moving the way you want them to, but they're saying get into the energy of excitement, get into that childlike energy because that's the energy that is going to help you even more next week when things just start to flow again. Okay. And if you want to work with me, one-on-one, -on -one. I want you guys to know, a couple of you have written to me like, um, could I possibly do a video session or does it have to be a teleconference? Absolutely. We can do video sessions too. Um, I have a teleconference service that I use that is really reliable and it's, um, I've liked using it, but we don't have to just talk on the phone. We can have a reading just like this via video conference, either via Google Hangouts or Skype. So, um, 
yeah, so if you want to check that out, it's on my website, thetwinflamefamily.com. Just click on schedule a session and the private services are there. And just one more reminder, on Wednesday, January 11th, the night before the full moon, I'm holding a Divine Feminine Goddess Workshop. And just uh, click on group services under the schedule session, and it's right on there. I still have spots left in the workshop. And um, it's really about harnessing our femi feminine energy and focusing on our mission and how to move through that and like a leadership role and navigate through, you know, business and mission and starting new ventures, but reclaiming our, um, the fullness of our feminine energy rather than moving through it in our masculine. So if there are any divine feminines out there or divine masculine who want to learn how to harness their feminine energy better, please sign up. It's going to be a very fun and educational couple of hours at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, January 11th. I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys on Wednesday. Um, so that's the reading for this week. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me a note on the videos or at transformationscapecod at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, 